The disease rust caused the downfall of the long-dominant sugarcane variety LCP85384. This year, growers released the variety L01283 that has high yields like 384, but offers other positive characteristics. The variety has a, an excellent disease package. That's probably first and foremost. It's resistant to the most of our major diseases, rust, smut, leaf skull, uh, yellow leaf disease. It also has a good resistance to the sugarcane borer. The new variety also stands up well and performs well over years. This is important because sugarcane is planted one year and then harvested for the next three or four years. Now growers have several options when choosing what to plant this fall. Several years ago, 384 was planted on nearly all of the state's acres. In the past eight years, breeders have released six varieties, giving growers more options. Instead of having one predominant variety, I think the variety seen in Louisiana is going to be a good mix of several different varieties. Achieving high yields is always important to growers, but with high fuel and fertilizer costs, growers will need good yields to make a profit. The price of sugar had been down recently, but Gravois said things are improving. Lately, the uh, sugar price has uh, rebounded quite a bit, and that's given uh, folks a little bit of um, hope and some optimism. Another positive point for sugarcane growers, the Farm Bill has provisions that will help growers better manage prices. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.